broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. I don't think so, mate. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? There are five cyber life stores across Detroit, all selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 AM, no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Opening a gate. Man, he's excitable. Ah, I suppose we follow her. She knows where she's going, surely. I mean... Look, this way, quick! Oh, it's the filth. It's okay, they're gone. Hey, surely we know where the stores are. The we could use maps and things. We should be careful. We could use our GPS earlier in the game, in fact. Bizarre that we don't know where the store is we're trying to find. The store's over here. Come on, let's go. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Alright, um, secure the area. How do we do this? Security camera, take it out. You see the alarm system? Found it. All right. Neutralize the alarm system. Yes, but how? Where do we There's start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Follow you where, mate, and how? I need a little more guidance than this. Or are we following it along the ground here? Is this what they're meaning? Okay. I get it. Follow the red line. Right. Convenient. And if all the uh, other teams breaking into the other four stores have to rely on this sort of luck, it's going to be uh, quite the mission for the minute. You're awake now. Go to Jericho.
at the red wire. Neutralize the alarm. Nice job, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, we're getting some. Getting us a robot girlfriend, finally. That's what we've been waiting for all game. Hey mate, you enjoyed the uh You are free. Think of the store? Oh. How do we get in there? What do you want us to do now, you stupid game? Uh, oh, it's got a yellow thing over here. Okay. I'm very clear at times about what it wants you to do, is it? I think they uh, expect you to use that, like, trigger and stuff more to look at things. Exactly what we need to ram this door. Steal the truck. Truck exit. Any workman? Convert. Marcus. Hello. Marcus, come look. Oh no, the road's closed. There. Nobody should bother us now. Right. Um, how do we get this truck? Oh, there is. What are we waiting for? Not the only mechanical lock left in the city, is it? I think we haven't scouted the area yet, but that's all right. Okay, now we're in. I'm sure we'll Let's be fine on our burglary. Out. I wonder if we fail, everyone fails. I wonder what you'd do without me. Truck. Change of plan? I just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. <sighs> I wish we had the timer in the corner to, uh. Who do you think? Bert? Oh, truck, Bert, you mate. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Should we have a peek in this building? I don't know how much time we got left. The building looks to be open. No. This worker guy. Hi, mate. You are oh. free. Good. We're, we're missing one of them. We have the setback now. 
Um, Alright, I think we're good. If we're not, then so be it. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. I thought we got that guy already. That's Alright, let's get the truck. Let's go. We've done all the people, we've scouted the area, surely. I don't know how to take out the drone, if it's possible to take out the drone. Super weird we can use this handprint thing when we couldn't use the handprint thing in the uh, strip club. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Room. Staring. It's staring itself. Okay. I was gonna go down the end past that scaffolding. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. I'll show you fun, robot. Quick, let's get converting. You were committing a class pretty We forgot fast. about the drone. The cops are gonna be here any minute. We gotta go. Wait, Marcus, we can't just leave our people behind. It's too late, North. We failed. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is I, to the police. I knew that was a problem, and I couldn't work out how to do anything Marcus, about it. it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit! We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I this up. At least yeah, it's his fault, not mine. How could you get this so wrong? I thought you knew what you were doing. I did what I could. I'm sorry that's oh. not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. <laughs> you have no choice. God damn, that's irritating. I knew that drone flying about was a problem, but it didn't seem to give me any prompts to do anything about it anywhere, so I gave up. <laughs> Alright. Ah, well, maybe one day I'll do a future playthrough, but... Uh, you owe us one. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. <laughs> He's such a pussy. I can hate him. Uh, can we cam ski him? I don't want cam skiers. Cam -ski left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? Sorry, right, what's going on? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance. It's him. I don't know why we're looking at that. <gasps> 
Sex robot. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Ah, oh, he wants to fuck the robot. And then don't we all? I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Oh, hang on. Let's look at the th let's look at the tree. I think stuff. Nice girl. Uh, let's be different. It's not a girl. It's an android that looks like a girl. <laughs> I know what it is, Connor. I <laughs> uh, love nice it. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Feelings are for women. I don't know. Amanda. I'll tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. With the advent of reusable space shuttles, space tourism is becoming a reality. Those able to afford it, luxury travel brand Clear Skies is offering the first commercially available flight into space. The experience includes a three-hour orbit of the moon, affording spectacular views of Earth through a specially designed observation deck. As competition increases in this growing market, consumers can expect such trips to become more and more affordable. Consumer rights activists are already decrying such boutique experiences as a sign of the widening social equality gap. A spokesman for Aid on Poverty said, While the top 1% are enjoying Earth from space, the rest of us are down here suffering from pollution, famine, and poverty. Their skies was not available for comments, but the new slogan for their space-faring holidays looks increasingly apt. Get away from it all. And Cyberlife's fortune teller computer, Cyberlife develops the most powerful quantum calculator. Ah, uh, I think we've read this one already. Elijah, we'll see you now. Oh, he's got a whole tub full of blood and sex robots. Oh, it's living the life. Mr. Kansky! Girls. Just a moment, please. Stop bouncing around in your pool. Now you've got a fancy blood pool, but. Oh, tell us they were all modeled on your sister. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. 
Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Uh. Oh. If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious? If a war breaks out between humans, then millions of humans will die. Machines you Makes created, no maybe planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I want to fuck your girls in the blood pool. What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? The Who chose to shoot him? An obedient machine. Or a living being endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh, I do like shooting women. I also like angering the cop. Fuck! Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question. Uh, only the weird ones have that need, mate. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. Is coming. You'll have to choose your side. 
Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. <laughs> you shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head, and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation, and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Yes. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was she. Was? I thought you... Ah, pathetic old bed. Oh, now we have to walk home. <laughs> Hank was disappointed. That's the best outcome. I love pissing that guy off. I can't believe I couldn't work out how to get rid of that drone. I knew it was going to be a problem. I'm fucking annoyed by that. Out of the edge, mate. Off you go. Jump, put an end to it all. I was wondering where you were. Daylight. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I panicked last night. We should have succeeded. <laughs> I cannot afford to make mistakes like that. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I actually wanted the there. other answer. The house android, a slave. I was trying to go for sincere and missed because it said X. Ah. What if I can you? work out the buttons and have a better story. You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. It does. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Ooh, we unlocked a new path. I hope it's the sexy path. <laughs> Fred hates us. Oh, I love it. This is suicide. 
We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Oh, convert here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Are there more? Oh, here's another one. Hello. You're free. Um, are there any more before we head to the streets? Look at this guy stuck on the stairs. The wrong way. She was also going to the paint store, huh? I mean, they could be spying on us right now. Drug dealer? Yeah. Hello? You're awake now. Oh, finally. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. You're free now. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. No, no. She put me on hold. I need to block the street. Open manhole cover. Oh, what are we doing with that? Sewer people. Uh, yeah, we'll have her. You're free now. It all with like. Remote control there, I don't even have to touch them. You'll take your skin off as you do it. <laughs> hey, you filthy freaks. Oh, 
got no left trigger. Uh, choose our symbol. Um, let's t steal the uh, Black Power logo. They won't mind. Very slow walk we're doing. Not so much a march as an amble for justice. Kind of the cop with the YMCA. Jesus fucking Christ! This bet's is patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands, of... thousands, hey, two hundred forty bait. According to our list. Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are people. We are people. If I know. We are people. We are people. We are people. We are people. Equal rights. Equal rights. Equal rights. Liberty for androids. Liberty for androids. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. Disperse. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. Fire as the back turns. Follow me!
That's an absolute disaster. Every time they got a bee or an egg, so I, can, I cannot for the life of me work out what they're doing. Time. I cannot work out these fucking controls. Uh, I swear I'm not as bad at button mashing when I've got the correct picture for them. Ah, that all dead. Marcus! Loser. Gabe. Oh. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I didn't learn anything at Kamsky's. I thought RA-9 was the key to the whole thing, but... I was wrong. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Are you fucking him? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. Did Kamsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Pink, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over.
Hank, what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Listen, take a few days to think it over. There's no rush. I thought enough about it. I'm tired of going through the motions. There's nothing keeping me here. Not this case. Not my partner. I don't belong here anymore. What a verge, huh? Yeah, just say it. Walk out. Ah, oh, Detective Ratman. Make diversions. Why? Why would I want to make diversions? Right, go to the archive room. Make diversions to slow them down. Why do I want to slow them down? I'm off the case. What? What's going on? I don't know what the plot is now. Where am I supposed to be going? Uh, I don't really want to make a diversion and slow them down. I don't want to... Uh, Really do anything? Thought we'd been taken off the case. That was it. We let him in. Um, just flip him off through the window. Yeah, I don't, you want me to let him go, but I don't want to. I don't know why I would. We have to, we have to do it. Oh, 30 seconds, we're going to wait it out. Okay, okay, I don't really care about making this diversion. Don't we have a desk around here somewhere? Oh, it takes so long to tick down. There we go. Your mission is over. It's time to return to cyber life. Wait! I can solve this case! I just need more time! It's too late, Connor. You failed. Oh. Following the dramatic scenes in Detroit yesterday, the FBI have confirmed that the android known as Marcus was destroyed. The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces oh, yes, are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. camps in most major cities to gather and destroy androids. So far, camps have been installed in Los Angeles, Chicago, whiskey, Denver, Houston, Boston, San Francisco, and of course, Detroit. President Warren announced today that android collection and destruction operations were fully underway, but that it will take at least a week to eliminate the current generation of machines. All right, so we Cyber saved Life the day. issued a statement today saying that it is working closely with the authorities in order to round up and destroy all androids across the country. They also announced an internal investigation to identify the malfunction and to prevent any such incidents in the future. That's going to tank their stock, isn't it? Elijah Kamsky, 
You're the founder of CyberLife and foremost expert on androids. Though you left CyberLife years ago, you've just been reappointed as CEO in the wake of the dramatic events in Detroit. How do you feel about what happened there? Clearly what happened in Detroit was a tragedy. Artificial intelligence is a wonderful tool, provided it can be controlled. Fortunately, CyberLife managed to quickly produce a solution to the deviant problem. Under my management, we'll take every precaution to prevent such a thing from ever happening again. Can you assure us that androids no longer pose a threat? Absolutely. There was an incident, but we've learned from our mistakes. And we can assure you that androids will remain exactly what they were designed to be, obedient and efficient machines. How do you respond to those who point out the social impact of androids, especially in terms of unemployment? Well, of course, that's absurd. We heard the same objections when the steam engine first appeared. Nobody today would dream of living without electricity. Who wants to turn their back on progress? Some are questioning whether androids have become a new intelligence and that we destroyed them without listening to their message. How do you respond to that? Cyberlife's androids imitate life to perfection, but they'll never be alive. I understand that some people may be fooled, but they're only an imitation, nothing else. Mr. Kamsky, thank you very much. You're welcome. Alright, so immediate thoughts upon finishing the game. I feel like it's a bit sort of disjointed. I think the the game, at least from my perspective, would have played out a bit better had it been three separate stories that you played rather than mashing them all together. Like you played through the police investigation side first, which unlocks the robot rebellion campaign or whatever it is. And then playing through that, you unlock a third story, which sort of intersects the two other stories, because it feels very disjointed. Uh, switching between this sort of robot rebellion type thing that you're supposed to be leading, and to progress that, you have to work against the police investigation. To do the police investigation, you either work against the other thing. I think it would have been much better had the story been sort of revealed as you went along game overall pretty good i don't think it's worth it at full price seemed a bit short to me i think pick this one up on sale if you're going to play it but from that fairly enjoyable all right so the game sort of uh brings up some interesting questions around ai and its role in the society i don't really think this is the place to talk about a discussion like that but if you want to have a chat about it you can join me on discord until the next game i've been mr gruffle this has been i've forgotten the name of the game Detroit, become human, got there eventually.